So when it comes to the risks in dating and marriage, it doesn't get riskier than single mothers. Take a look at this phone call. Tom completely lays out the facts. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. This is Valerie on the Job Like a Show. Hey, Tom, am I on? Uh, oh, did you want to be on the air? I can't tell on the phone. Well, hang on. I'll put you on the air. Hold on there. Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Valerie on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, I'm a, I listen to you every day here at work. That's I'm a good. single mom and you're always bashing us. And why do you think I do that? I don't know. We you act like we can't handle being on our own. Well, Tom, we don't really care if you can handle being on your own. Uh, what we care about is you became a single mom once, you might do it again. I did. I did. I was a single mom once. I'd be seeing a single mom again, same that, father. That, that, uh, and uh, and uh, how's that go? It didn't go. It didn't go. He just He's not around. And where, where is he? he he's in He's in a uh, state facility right now. Uh, a state, oh, is it the hospital? No, <laughs> a, state, a state camp. State um, camp? Yeah. Concentration it, camp? Something like that. He needs a lot of concentration. What's the problem? Uh, he just has a problem with drugs, and he's never... He, he, I've been with him for 15 years. And so let's review. You've been with a man for 15 years. You've had two children with him, and he's a drug addict. Mm -hmm. well, he... And now he's in prison. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me that you are a responsible, independent individual. Definitely. Uh -huh. And if you are so responsible, uh, why are you spending 15 years with a drug addict? Well, it's been off and on. It hasn't been a solid 15 years. Well, it doesn't, well, it doesn't matter. Once a drug addict, always a drug addict. <laughs> That's not necessary. There's been really? a covering on a Yeah, who? Addict. Who? Robert Downey Jr., who? <laughs> who? There they do. They, there's a, there's why, why do you waste your time waiting for somebody I to clean know. up? I, I guess I have no idea. Well, that doesn't sound very responsible to me. Is that good for your kids? N uh, Daddy's in jail again. Well, they don't know that. They don't know that. Oh, where, where do they think Dad went? He, he's, oh, they know he's, he, one of them knows he's in jail. One's too little, but, and she, you know, she understands, but he's, he, she doesn't know. She what understands. What does she understand? He just can't Oh, have she knows, he, you know, one, you, the little one knows he's in jail, just doesn't know why? Mm -hmm. I see. That's great. That's great. Your kid's growing up with their dad in jail, and, and you uh, decide to have children with a guy like that. Mm -hmm. well, you why know why did you do that? If you're kids. so responsible, why'd you do that? They're great kids. They, they what? have there. no problem. There. Well, that's what you say. We'll find out uh, what the psychiatrist has to say when they grow up. No, they're, they're great kids. They they're, uh, every woman says that about their kids. The point is, you don't know how screwed up they are until they grow up. Uh, you can tell. I'll you tell know you what, if I, you know, I, I have problems with my dad, but you know what? He, he was not in prison, and he was not a junkie, okay? If I, if he, I, that would screw me up for life if I was growing up with my mom, uh, being home uh, all the time, and telling me my dad was in prison. No. Oh, no, no. how strong the mother is. The mother's oh. going to be there for you and then nurture you and Here, love you. Why, if you know the guy's a junkie, why have two kids with him? I don't understand this. Can you tell me why you would do that? There's plenty of kids that grow up without a dog. But, but, but why would you do that? I'm trying to understand why you would have. Why? Don't, when you have children, don't you want to, like, get, get a father who'd be a good father? You get married, you get married to stay married forever, right? Yeah, but that's what you knew the guy was a junkie and you had kids with him anyway. We, we were married and then I found out. You were married to him. Yeah, and then I found out afterwards. So he he had never used drugs before then? Not to my knowledge, not that I ever knew about. So you didn't know he was a drug addict until after you had two children with him? No, after the first one, but yeah. But then, Why would you have a second child with a junkie? You go to counseling, you get help, and you think that things are going to... Why would you have a second child with somebody who's going to rehab? I more kids. So, but why kids. would you have a second child with a man who's going to rehab? Well, why would I want to have kids from different fathers? I thought, well, that's a whole other question. Mm -hmm. But the point is that, you know what? Why the, not keep him from the same problem? Are you still married to this guy? And for, yeah, I yeah. am. You're married to him. So are you waiting for him to get out so no, you can have a third no, kid? Why? No, not this time. That's, no. So what are you going to do this time? Oh, he this gets time out? we're getting divorced. Definitely. You are? Yeah. But you're going to wait until he gets out for that? No, actually, it's in the process through the state. It is. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great.
Yeah. Well, then uh, let me ask you a question, since obviously this is based on the fact that I tell men not to date single mothers. Why would we any do. Why would any man listening to this broadcast want to get involved with somebody like you, with yeah, a husband that's, who's in that's, prison, that's fine. With I would two want children who are the children of junkies, and God only knows whether he was ever using drugs when he was knocking you up, and whether it in any way inhibited their development or will have any impact on them in the future. Uh, why would a man want to get involved with somebody like you? They they wouldn't, and then that's okay. Yeah? All right. So then, so the point is, you agree with let Let's review. You agree with me with what I say about men dating single mother. In a, in a, dating is a different thing than having a, a relationship or a, um, a commitment and getting married. Uh, no, no, dating but it's totally different. No, but but the point is, why would a man want to even get involved with you in any way? Why would a man want to have you as a booty call? It's too much drama, too much stress. No, no. Oh, that says you. I tell you what, if I met a woman like you, I would steer clear. I wouldn't even take you as a booty call. I, you know what? I wouldn't even take you as a one night sham. Uh huh. No. You got it no, all. no, no. Come yeah. Come on, Tom. That's great. So while your husband's in prison, uh, of course, you've just decided that he's gone. So have you been banging other guys at the deal? I don't have time. I don't have time. You don't have time. Well, there you go. Exactly. So why would, again, why would any man want to be with you? I don't have time for them. I don't have time. They're like... Well, there you go. So you don't have time for them. They they really shouldn't be involved with you. It's a perfect match. Okay. Oh. I mean, why would a man want to be with a woman like you? Answer? I don't know the answer. No. There's a, you never know. There might be someone out there. There might be someone out there. Yeah, he's probably another well, uh, drug addict, alcoholic, uh, <laughs> wife beater. There's somebody out there for you. Yeah, until they get a hold of you. Then Guaranteed that somebody makes less than $35,000 a year. That's what's in your future, Doug. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, the uh, billionaires. You, you, you will not be marrying Kirk Kerkorian or anybody with billions of dollars, I'll tell you that. I wouldn't want to. Yeah, you know, that's, what, that's what they all say when they can't get them. <laughs> no. You'd be happy to have the guy who stands outside Subway Sandwich Shop uh, dressed as a Subway Sandwich and not coupons. <laughs> oh, the guy okay. with the lettuce leaf as his hair. You know the guy I'm talking about. Yeah. The guy who stands outside on Pollo Loco dressed as a chicken. <laughs> Or the one on the corner with the with the for sale sign with the houses. Right, it says now renting. Or the guy with the arrow, the guy with the arrow that says if you lived here you'd be home by now. That's your future. That's the kind of guy you're gonna get. The guy wearing the walk As long as he's nice and treats me well, that's great. Now there somewhere, there's a guy with one of those big now renting arrows standing on Hollywood Boulevard who is listening to us talk right now. Or the, the map, the stars to the, the maps to the stars home. Yeah, star star maps, the star map people <laughs> who keep waving. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's your future, Dolly. These are, this is now what you've reduced your options to. Uh, and I and I and I called you and I and I. And you called me still, and you knew I was going to kick your ass all over the place. That's okay. I'm still listening. Because you know I'm right, and and you don't mind because you know that it, you really don't have much of an argument here. No, no, there is no argument. No. I know. Okay. All right, Tom. Well, darling, thank you so much. By the way, the only thing that's missing is my handprint on your ass. <laughs> huh. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. If they smoke, I'm turned off. If they drink, I'm out of there. Uh, if they're stupid, I'm bored. If they're mean, I'm bored. If they're trying to use me, I'm out of there. So I guess I'm very picky. If they don't work out, I'm not interested. If the mind is lazy and the body's lazy, who cares?